Welcome back to the channel everybody. We're out here working on the discovery again. Um, before we get too far into what we're going to be doing for this video, I wanted to give you guys an update on what's been happening since, uh, since I purchased it. So let me get into that. So when I bought the car, aside from the obvious lack of upkeep, we also had the three Amigos go in and we also had um, a check engine light. So after running the codes, check engine lights turned out to be O2 sensors. Normally, not such a big deal. In this case, it went totally sideways. So I bought the O2 sensors, crawl underneath. When I go to install them, I notice there's no holes in the exhaust. Take a look. So this is the janky setup that was welded in. You can see that they, there should be a, a, an O2 sensor here. All right, they completely welded it out. Then this one here, they welded out, but they plugged the O2 sensor here. So, all right, again, not a big deal. It took me about a month to get a new Y pipe with California legal um, cats in it. Again, not a big deal. Once it came in, after breaking a couple bolts, of course, because exhaust bolts fall apart after a while, um, get it in, get the O2 sensors in, go to plug the two front O2 sensors in, and turns out, the wiring harness, which is tucked up in here behind the engine, was completely ripped out. So I didn't really want to tackle electrical. It wasn't something I want to get into. Once you start getting into electrical, sometimes one is it could turn to a rat's nest. It's trying to search out the different problems, trying to you know track down everything that could have gone wrong. If anything grounded out, trying to find other wiring that had melted down or blown uh, fuses. So I just decided I didn't want to deal with it. So con after contacting about a dozen places that claim to work on British uh, cars, nobody wants such a Land Rover. I wonder why. Um, so I decided I would try to do it myself. Nobody would touch it. So in order to actually get to the harness, I had to rip the top half of the engine apart. So you take a look here. This is the intake manifold. This here has, or this is the upper, actually the upper uh, intake plenium. This has to come out so that you can get down here and you can get to the uh, ignition coils which then behind that on the back of the engine there's a bolt that holds the wiring harness in. You have to undo that bolt to pull the wiring harness up and I could from there I could finally reach the part of the wiring harness that was left after being ripped out. Now excuse me if you guys have ever like if any of you guys are actually any some of these connectors you know they get hot you know they're constantly by the exhaust they get brittle they break apart so for me i found a solution it's a amazon part rhwa002 it is an actual uh harness extender which actually came it worked out perfectly. I was able to take it apart. I stripped out the one side of it and was able to wire that into the wiring harness, uh, soldered the lines together, put heat shrink tubing on it, and then I put this heat protectant on it to sort of protect the solder. <clears throat> after, after getting everything back together, uh, actually my luck check engine lights went away everything worked out uh, it took about 200 miles of actually having to drive it to get all of the uh, monitors to clear but once that happened it was great uh, pass mog no problem and as you can see here we finally got plates on it it is finally official finally a California car so now that that's done, it's time to move on. It's time to move on to all the other uh, things that really need fixing. So let's take a look at what actually is left to do. I've got to replace the ABS modulator. That's hopefully going to fix the three Amigos. 
brake master cylinder not so much an issue it was i thought it had a leak but it doesn't seem to be leaking anymore it actually seemed to be one of the lines that i replaced so we're going to have to flush the radiator replace radiator hoses and thermostat replace spark plugs i am pretty sure given the lack of maintenance that this thing has had that all of these fluids are probably the original except maybe the engine oil uh, new shocks. The shocks are shot. The thing vibrates horribly. That also goes for the steering dampener. Uh, steering dampener is in horrible shape. New tires, fuel filter. The stereo, it, it didn't work, but amazingly enough, I pulled um, the stereo out to check and see if there was any problem with the wiring, just to see if maybe the um, O2 sensor harness shorted out anything. Uh, turns out it was just a blown fuse in the radio, so that works great. But it's still, it's a tape player and no Bluetooth, no nothing. So that's getting replaced. Window regulator is not such a big deal. Passengers don't need to roll the window down. Um, my CDL is stuck in high. Now this truck did come with a lock locking center differential. Problem is I'm stuck only in high gear. I can lock it. But that's kind of pointless when it comes to getting off-road. So, and then we're going to check cylinder pressure. So, I have a three-day weekend this weekend. So, we're going to try and see how much of that stuff we can actually get done. Now, first things on the list is going to be the modulator. This should get rid of our three amigos. And um, hopefully then that dash will be perfectly clear. Okay. So this right here is basically your brake proportioning valves. Um, you can kind of see, see if I can get in there, that little black speck right there is the modulator that we're trying to get to. So in order to do that, and this is according to Atlantic British, if you guys really want to see some good videos on a lot of the work on these discoveries, they, they really make some great videos. But for now, basically, there's these three bolts that hold it in place. One two and one back here if you can see that three and what they say is you can remove these two hoses and i believe i'm 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 gonna uh, remove this one here you can lift it out and that will give you access to uh the modulator i wish that i was a simple man wish that i was but i never been scared of reality setting in wish i was better at giving it I wish that I was a kid again, back when I wish I was imminent. Scared of reality setting in, taking the time I won't get again. Wish I didn't need a wish, too concerned with getting rich. Shoulders heavy from the chips, can you blame me sure flex? Need to make time for my mom, be half of the man that my dad is. Learn to accept when I'm wrong, some things in life that you can't do. So overall, the threads look really good. Everything looks um, like it's really in good shape. <clears throat> no corrosion, which is really nice. Yeah, I got a lot on my plate. Hey, I got a whip in the shape. Wait, don't cut the tape. Too much to say. I got a song. I make a living. I'm fighting my wrongs. Virginia to death, but my dream in the West got a puff on my chest. You can make me a pawn. Just got a text that that new shit is fresh, man. I wish you the best. You deserve to be on. So I, I decided to take all of these out. Um, I was just a little sketchy. They, they said that it's okay and they bend easily. I just felt a little sketchy about um, pulling them up. Now I've got all the other, the three bolts out as well, so I am going to attempt to pull this thing out. Gotta deal with Atlantic, but they going frantic about it. They're over the pond. I can't set limits inside of my mind. That shit will feel like committing a crime. Baby, that apple pie keeping me calm. You fall asleep and you dream of the shine. I look for peace, but there's not much to find. Scared of the storm, but I'm stuck in the... All right. Modulator officially up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see those wires are all broken up. So here you can see the um, new modulator comes with new hardware with Loctite on it. So make sure you use the new hardware.
All right, so now it's completely out. Here we go, here's the unit. I've already replaced the uh, modulator, so that's good to go. Um, but I have decided I am going to uh, replace that master cylinder. It's really just a couple of, of connections from here, two connections and two bolts. Um, and I just don't want to come back and do it later on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I wish that I was a simple man, wish that I was, but I've never been scared of reality setting in. Wish I was better at giving in. I wish that I was a kid again, back when I wish I was imminent. Scared of reality setting in, taking the time I won't get again. Wish I didn't need a wish, too concerned with getting rich. Showed us, and there you have it. New brake master cylinder. You can see the O-ring is in there. Brand new O-ring. I kind of cleaned the old uh, tank up. Also, and you really can't tell the difference, but I cleaned the master cylinder up too. You can actually see where the, it seemed it was leaking as it ate up some of the paint and whatnot. So, all right, time to stick it back in. The chips, can you blame me trying flex? Need to make time for my mom. We have it, a man of my dad is. Learn to accept when I'm wrong. Some things in life that I you can't miss. I've been having some bad dreams. I've been having some bad dreams. I've been having some bad Yeah, I got too drunk on a Sunday to hang over Monday. It kind of defeated the purpose. Boy, I'd rather talk about shit in the music than coffee and toffee with someone in person. I'm trying to give more to myself to the world. There's too many ways I could word it because they like the lyrics and lowercase letters and measures presented in beautiful cursive like G's. All that we knew was just smoking some weed. Pull up the truck in the bushes and leave. d taught me how it is day two. Uh, day one got cut kind of short due to completely unforeseeable circumstances. Um, words to the wise gentleman that if your wife informs you a week ahead of time that she made plans to have dinner with friends and you work through the time that it is time to go, don't tell her that you forgot, all right? All right, so yesterday we did get the uh, master cylinder and the uh, modulator in. So now, because we didn't get to it, we're gonna have to bleed the brakes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this up on jack stands, get uh, get the wheels off, and then while we're while we're working our way around bleeding the brakes, we'll also uh, while it's up, get the shocks and the steering stabilizer replaced, and then we'll start working on uh, changing fluids. All right, let's do it. The trees back when the verse I was spitted for free. Just me and Nazi inside of the Jeep. Back when I knocked down a shorty a week. Break off a piece, caught me some sneeze. Lay down some heat, life on repeat. I wish that I was a simple man. Wish that I was, but I never been. Scared of reality setting in. Wish I was better at giving it. I wish that I was a kid again. Back when I wish I was imminent. Scared of reality setting in. Taking the time I won't get again. Wish I didn't need a wish. Thank you. All right, so now brakes are bled. Let's go ahead and check these parts off and we will move on. Modulator, done. Brake master cylinder, done. Now, these aren't completely done. I will have to go to the dealership to have a uh, complete bleed done. Hopefully then the three amigos will shut off. If not, we will, we'll, maybe we'll get them to pull some codes and see what the problem, uh, problem is. All right, moving on to the shocks. So, Removing the shocks from the top and the front is not so bad. Uh, you can try and see if I can get in here. You can see right here, um, there's where it bolts up top. You have to remove the air cleaner and all the tubing to get to it. Not really too much of an issue. More of an issue here 
is the passenger side. You can see right there. That right there is uh, for the passenger side, and you have to remove the, or at least get it out of the way. Um, the biggest issue is this uh, hose right here runs underneath, so you just got to be careful of that. For the backs, not really an issue. Bolt up top and a bolt on bottom, pretty standard. All right, let's get to it. Alright guys, so a little messed up, um, just to help somebody catch their dog out front. Um, when I came back, I forgot to turn the camera back on, so shock is out, and let's take a look at what we got. So, I actually had to take out the shock mount to get everything out. Um, this is the Bilstein shock. This is the shock that came out. Bushings don't look too bad, uh, but the fact that this... I could push this down with one hand and the shock it doesn't rebound lets me know that this thing is is toast so good thing we're changing them up huh all right let's get it done Okay, both shocks, both front shocks now, are now in. Um, I didn't show you guys the second one. It's basically the same. Uh, had I known, let's see if we can, had I known that it was gonna be easier to take the strut tower, or the, the towers out, the shock towers out, I would have just purchased some of the Terraforma uh, nice replacements that would have looked a lot better. But not to worry, uh, we'll do it when we do the 2.5 inch lift. The hardest part, honestly, was you can't, uh, they really, pretty screwy engineering, but they put this bolt so that it, it comes out towards the wheel well. There's just not enough room to get it out, so you have to, the easiest way is just to unbolt the tower and lift the whole thing out. But, uh, they're in and they look good. So next on, next up is the rears. Alright, back is done. Two simple bolts. This one here and up here. I did not show you guys the other side because it is exactly the same thing. But I'm super excited considering the other shocks, the old shocks were garbage. I am super excited to feel how these things work. Super excited. I'm actually I'm actually a fan of of Bill Steins, um, Bill Steins, whatever. Um, I run them on several other cars, especially some German cars, and I just I, I think they're great. So, Bill Stein, if you're if you're listening, I'd really like some with a uh, remote reservoir to fit this vehicle. Thank you. Ha. All right, on to the uh, on to the steering stabilizer. So here we are, you guys can see there's one end where it actually connects to the steering, here's where it connects to the frame. We got two wrenches on there already and so we will just uh, get to work. Wow. Ain't no one blocking me. Yeah. I'm in control of the outcome. Taking a look at your checklist. I'm seeing the list for the outcome. Wow. Taking a look at my rap sheet. You see in the book of the things that I outdone and I outlast. Cause I'm in first, but I'm outlasting now. I'm flipping the hourglass. 
Tapping the power, you taking a power nap. Doing them and smack you right out of your power stance. Stop peeping the sour glance from the people that thinking they tower ass. They needing to feed off of people to build up their ego. How long do you take a And we're done. All right, so that is now steering stabilizer and all shocks done. All right, so let's take a look at what we got done. <laughs> so I did get terra the, the Terraforma steering dampener. Um, I was gonna go Bilstein. They didn't have it in stock and I really wanted to get this done. So um, this was one of their cheaper, uh, cheaper upgrades. So, and then as soon as I can actually get the shock extended enough, we'll go ahead and add the sticker. That should add about five horsepower. Let's go ahead and mark some things off. Um, shocks, done. Steering dampener, done. Alrighty, um, time for a break. Okay, so that was a super long break because it's now the next day. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Um, next is going to be the fluid changes. I'm going to start with the differentials, then uh, go to the transfer case. And then hopefully I'll get through all the way through the transmission as well. That takes a little bit longer because I have a filter to change out. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Hey, 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 Everybody acting like we down Till it's time to let them boots hit the ground Keep on trying, but they'll never tear me down Never yeah. tear me down I gotta make it tonight I got a list of reasons yeah. I've been working overtime Used to the sweat, I'm bleeding My light, my light yeah. You can't block my shine yeah. I've been shooting for the moon No, you can't block my shine You can't block with mine, not even my tongue ball. No, SPF can defend and prevent this glow. It's so obvious, it's common sense. If you play with fire, you'll be torched. Better watch how you up close. So put me in the gang court, yeah. Try on the night, I'll play with the spiral. Now I'm going to ride one, going for the title. I got my eyes closed, play for the rivals. Cause I'm high, so I swing like the side show. And I'm just cruising past my song. Trying to keep it on the high note. Making moves on the iPhone, hand on the Bible. Hey, what do I know? Time to run up the check, run up the score, and run up the stats. Yeah. Are you feeling me yet? Yeah. Okay, so both differentials are now done. Um, I replaced the plastic. Interestingly enough, these differentials have a, a plastic fill plug, but um, I replaced them with a brass. A little bit heavier duty, new seal. So now on to the um, transfer case. Let's do it. Okay, so slight change of plans um, after looking down underneath there. Um, one, I don't know exactly how to drain and, and refill the transfer case. Also, my transfer or my CDL is actually stuck in high. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe I might have to drop the uh, transfer case and I just don't, this is a, I'm using top of the line oil. I don't want to change the oil and then have to drop the T case and then have to refill it and everything. So I'm going to deal with that later on. I'm going to move on to the transmission. I got to make it tonight. I got a list of reasons. I've been working overtime. You see the sweat, I'm bleeding. My light, my light. You can't block my shine. I've been shooting for the moon. No, you can't block my shine. Hey guys, so uh, unfortunately the battery died on my camera 
uh, part way through draining draining the um, transmission fluid so did the whole thing and you guys aren't gonna catch it but um, I'm about to take this off everything is done I'm about to take it off the uh, jack stands and I will give you guys an update on how it runs in the next video so uh, thank you for joining me I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you next time peace